Oh hi, let's make some shahi tukda which is a Mughal origin and eaten all around the world. For making a shahi tukda first in a pot we'll start by adding some milk and then we'll wait until our milk boils. Once your milk boils, now to your milk we'll add on some condensed milk and then we'll mix it up. Once your milk starts getting creamy, we'll stick the cream on the side of our pot and take some bread and trim the edges of it. Guys do not throw this brown part as we can make a lot of recipes using this. To your milk we'll add on some saffron milk, some rose water and some cardamom powder. We'll mix that bad boy up and then we'll scrape the cream from the side of the pot. Then we'll take another pan and add a mixture of brown sugar as well as some white sugar. We'll add on some water to the mixture, some cardamom. And then we'll cut our bread into some triangle pieces. To your sugar syrup, we'll add on some saffron and some rose water. Once your sugar syrup gets a one string consistency, now in the pan we'll add some ghee. But make sure you guys keep an eye on, on your rubbery. We'll fry the bread until it's golden brown like this. Once your rubbery is thick, we'll switch off our gas and let it cool down. Then we'll take a piece of our bread and we'll brush up some sugar syrup. From the top we give a layer of a rubbery like this, sprinkle up some almond powder and just look at that beauty. So guys finally our shahi tukra is ready. It's so damn aromatic to be honest. And now it's time for the taste test, my favorite part. Let me just take a bite of the gorgeous piece. Man this shit is bussin to be honest. It's so good.